Doberman. The Doberman, slash to BRMN slash, German pronunciation, or Doberman Pinscher in the United States and Canada, is a medium-large breed of domestic dog that was originally developed around 1890 by Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman, a tax collector from Germany. The Doberman has a long muzzle. It stands on its pads and is not usually heavy-footed. Ideally, they have an even and graceful gait. Traditionally, the ears are cropped and posted and the tail is docked. However, in some countries, it is illegal to do so. Dobermans have markings on the chest, paws slash legs, muzzle, above the eyes, and underneath the tail. Dobermans are known to be intelligent, alert, and tenaciously loyal companions and guard dogs. Personality varies a great deal between each individual, but if taken care of and trained properly, they are generally considered to be loving and devoted companions. The Doberman is driven, strong, and sometimes stubborn. Only one requires commitment and care. With a consistent approach, they can be easy to train and will learn very quickly. Dot. Appearance World breed standards are published by the Fédération Sinologique Internationale, or FCI, World Canine Organization, on the advice of the IDC, International Doberman Club, which is the Doberman Breeds Governing Council and has 36 countries in its member list. To become a world champion, dogs are judged to FCI standards. The AKC has its own standards, as do some other countries, although most still adhere to FCI standards. The breed standard describes the Doberman as a dog of medium size that is also strong and muscularly built. In order to be eligible to meet these standards, the body of the Doberman should appear to be almost square. It should also appear elegant and noble. The dog was originally intended as a guard dog, so males typically have a muscular and intimidating appearance. Females are usually thinner, but should not be spindly. The American Kennel Club, AKC, breed standard differs from the Federation Sinologica Internationale, FCI, standards, with the latter being an often larger and heavier dog. Doubt this has led some to argue that Dobermans and Doberman Pinschers should be considered and evaluated differently. Size and Proportions Although the breed standards vary among kennel and breed clubs, most follow the standard set by the FCI, which describes the size of male dogs as 68 to 72 centimeters, 27 to 28 in, at the Withers, the kennel club in the UK quotes 69 centimeters, 27 in, as being ideal. The size of female dogs, according to the same standards, is 63 to 68 centimeters, 25 to 27 in, with 65 centimeters, 26 in, being ideal. The Doberman has a square frame, its length should equal its height to the withers and the length of its head, neck, and legs should be in proportion to its body. The standards for the weight of the Doberman are also described by the FCI. The ideal dog must be of a sufficient size for an optimal combination of strength, endurance and agility. The ideal weight of male dogs is described as 40 to 45 kilograms, 88 to 99 pounds, and the ideal weight of female dogs is described to be 32 to 35 kilograms, 71 to 77 pounds. Dot color two different color genes exist in the Doberman, one for black, B, and one for color dilution, D. There are nine possible combinations of these alleles, which can result in four different color phenotypes, black, blue, red, and fawn, Isabella. The traditional and most common color occurs when both the color and dilution genes have at least one dominant allele, i.e., BBDD, BBDD, BBDD or BBDD, and is commonly referred to as black, black and rust, or black and tan. The red, red rust, or brown coloration occurs when the black gene has two recessive alleles but the dilution gene has at least one dominant allele, i.e., BBDD, BBDD. The blue Doberman has the color gene with at least one dominant allele and the dilution gene with both recessive alleles, i.e., BBDD or BBDD. The fawn coloration is the least common, occurring only when both the color and dilution genes have two recessive alleles, i.e., BBDD. Thus, the blue color is a diluted black, and the fawn color is a diluted red. Dot. Expression of the color dilution gene is a disorder called color dilution alopecia a kind of canine follicular dysplasia. Although not life-threatening, these dogs can develop skin problems. In 1976, a white Doberman pincher was whelped and was subsequently bred to her son, who was also bred to his litter sisters. This tight inbreeding continued for some time to allow the breeders to fix the mutation. White Dobermans are a cream color with white markings and blue eyes. 
Although this is consistent with albinism, the proper characterization of the mutation is currently unknown. The animals are commonly known as tyrosinase positive albinoids, lacking melanin in oculocutaneous structures. This condition is caused by a partial deletion in the SLC45A2 gene. Tail The Doberman's natural tail is fairly long, but individual dogs often have a short tail as a result of docking, a procedure in which the majority of the tail is surgically removed shortly after birth. The practice of docking has been around for centuries and is older than the Doberman is a breed. The historical reason for docking is to ensure that the tail does not get in the way of the dog's work. Docking has always been controversial, however. Docking and cropping, see below, have been written out of the breed standard by FCI and IDC, and dogs born after 2016 will not be allowed to participate in FCI or IDC shows without a full tail and natural ears. This is mirrored in most EU and Commonwealth countries. In the UK, dogs with dock tails have been banned from show for a number of years and the practice is now illegal for native-born dogs. Veterinary certificates are required as proof to avoid prosecution on imported animals. It has also been made illegal in many other European countries, as well as Australia. The American Kennel Club standard for Doberman pinchers includes a tail docked near the second vertebra. Docking is a common practice in the United States, Russia, and Japan as well as a number of other countries with Doberman populations, where it remains legal. Ears Dobermans often have their ears cropped, a procedure that is thought to be done for functionality for both the traditional guard duty and effective sound localization. According to the Doberman Pinscher Club of America, ears are normally cropped and carried erect. Like tail docking, ear cropping is illegal in many countries and has never been legal in some Commonwealth countries. Intelligence Canine intelligence is an umbrella term that encompasses the faculties involved in a wide range of mental tasks, such as learning, problem-solving, and communication. The Doberman Pinscher has been ranked amongst the most intelligent dog breeds in experimental studies and expert evaluations. Psychologist Stanley Corin ranks the Doberman as the fifth most intelligent dog in the category of obedience command training, based on the selective surveys answered by experienced trainers, as documented in his book The Intelligence of Dogs. Additionally, in two studies, Heart and Heart, 1985, ranked the Doberman Pinscher first in the same category, and Tortora, 1980, gave the Doberman the highest rank in general trainability. Although the methods of evaluation differ, these studies have consistently shown that the Doberman Pinscher, along with the Border Collie, Standard Poodle, German Shepherd, Golden Retriever, and Rottweiler, is one of the most trainable breeds of dog. Aggression Although they are considered to be working dogs, Dobermans are often stereotyped as being ferocious and aggressive. As a personal protection dog, the Doberman was originally bred for these traits, it had to be large and intimidating, fearless, and willing to defend its owner from attackers, especially other guard dogs, but sufficiently obedient and restrained to do so only on command. These traits served the dog well in its role as a personal defense dog, police dog, or war dog, but were not ideally adapted to a companionship role. The Doberman's aggression has been toned down by modern breeders over the years, however, today's Dobermans are known to have a much more even and good-natured temperament, as well as extreme loyalty, high intelligence, and great trainability. The modern Doberman is known to be energetic, watchful, fearless, and obedient. They can easily learn to respect and protect their owners and are therefore considered by many to be excellent guard dogs. Given that they are properly socialized from a young age, they are generally sociable toward familiar humans and can also be sociable with other dogs. However, Dobermans do rank among the more likely breeds to show aggressive behavior toward strangers and other dogs, though they are not among the most likely to do so. They are highly unlikely to show aggressive behavior toward their owners. There is some evidence that Doberman pinchers in North America have a calmer and more even temperament than their European counterparts because of the breeding strategies employed by American breeders. Because of these differences in breeding strategies, different lines of Doberman pinchers have developed different traits. Although many contemporary Doberman pinchers in North America are gentle and friendly to strangers, some lines are bred more true to the original personality standard. The personality of the Doberman pincher is known to be unique. There is a great deal of scientific evidence that Doberman pinchers have a number of stable psychological traits, such as certain personality factors and intelligence. As early as 1965, studies have shown that there are several broad behavioral traits that significantly predict behavior and are genetically determined. Subsequently, 
There have been numerous scientific attempts to quantify canine personality or temperament by using statistical techniques for assessing personality traits in humans. These studies often vary in terms of the personality factors they focus on and in terms of ranking breeds differently along these dimensions. One such study found that Doberman Pinschers, compared to other breeds, rank high in playfulness, average in curiosity slash fearlessness, low on aggressiveness, and low on sociability. Another such study ranked Doberman Pinschers low on reactivity slash surgence and high on aggression slash disagreeableness and openness slash trainability. In addition to the studies of canine personality, there has been some research to determine whether there are breed differences in aggression. In a study published in 2008, aggression was divided into four categories, aggression directed at strangers, owner, strange dogs, and rivalry with other household dogs. This study found that the Doberman Pinscher ranked relatively high on stranger-directed aggression, but extremely low on owner-directed aggression. The Doberman Pinscher ranked as average on dog-directed aggression and dog rivalry. Looking only at bites and attempted bites, Doberman Pinschers rank as far less aggressive towards humans and show less aggression than many breeds without a reputation, for example, Cocker Spaniel, Dalmatian, and Great Dane. This study concluded that aggression has a genetic basis, that the Doberman shows a distinctive pattern of aggression depending on the situation and that contemporary Doberman Pinschers are not an aggressive breed overall. In regards to Dobermans attacking owners, it is rare and usually in the case of over-discipline. Dobermans accept physical punishment to an extent. However, when they consider it to no longer be punishment, but an attack on themselves, they will defend themselves. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, between 1979 and 1998, the Doberman Pinscher was involved in attacks on humans resulting in fatalities less frequently than several other dog breeds such as German Shepherd Dogs, Rottweilers, Husky-type Dogs, Wolf Dog Hybrids and Alaskan Malamutes. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention study, one of the most important factors contributing to dog bites is the level of responsibility exercised by dog owners. Health The Doberman's lifespan is about 10 to 13 years on average. The breed is prone to a number of health concerns. Common serious health problems include dilated cardiomyopathy, DCM, cervical vertebral instability, CVI, von Willebrand's disease, a bleeding disorder for which genetic testing has been available since 2000, and prostatic disease. Less serious common health concerns include hypothyroidism and hip dysplasia. Canine compulsive disorder is also common. Studies have shown that the Doberman Pinscher suffers from prostatic diseases, such as bacterial prostatid, prostatic cysts, prostatic adenocarcinoma, and benign hyperplasia, more than any other breed. Dilated cardiomyopathy is a major cause of death in Dobermans. This disease affects the breed more than any other. Nearly 40% of DCM diagnoses are for Doberman Pinschers, followed by German Shepherds at 13%. More recent studies based on European dogs however, has indicated that DCM-affected rates are much higher for this population than their American relatives, around 58% of European Dobermans will develop DCM within their lifetime. Research has shown that the breed is affected by an attenuated wavy fiber type of DCM that affects many other breeds, as well as an additional fatty infiltration degenerative type that appears to be specific to Doberman Pinscher and Boxer breeds. This serious disease is likely to be fatal in most Dobermans affected. Roughly a quarter of Doberman Pinschers who develop cardiomyopathy die suddenly from seemingly unknown causes, and an additional 50% die of congestive heart failure. Among female Dobermans, the sudden death manifestation of the disease is more common, whereas males tend to develop congestive heart failure. In addition to being more prevalent in Dobermans, this disease is also more serious in the breed. Following a diagnosis, the average non-Doberman has an expected survival time of 8 months. For Doberman Pinschers, however, the expected survival time is less than two months. Although the causes for the disease are largely unknown, there is evidence that it is a familial disease inherited as an autosomal dominant trait. Investigation into the genetic causes of canine DCM may lead to therapeutic and breeding practices to limit its impact. History The history of the Doberman breed is sometimes disputed by experts, however, it's generally thought that Dobermans were first bred in the 1880s by Carl Friedrich Louis Doberman in the town of Appelda, in the German state of Thuringia. It is generally disagreed upon what Doberman's main job was, but it is known for certain that he ran the Appelda dog pound. 
with access to dogs of many breeds, he got the idea to create a breed that would be ideal for protecting him, as whatever job he was believed to have taken next, a tax collector, a night watchman, a rent collector, and other such things surely were dangerous. He set out to breed a new type of dog that, in his opinion, would exhibit impressive stamina, strength, and intelligence. Five years after his death, Otto Guller, one of the earliest breeders, created the National Doberman Pinscher Club and is considered to have perfected the breed, taking on the work of breeding and refining them in the 1890s. The breed is believed to have been created from several different breeds of dogs that had the characteristics that Doberman was looking for. The exact ratios of mixing, and even the exact breeds that were used, remain uncertain, although many experts believe that the Doberman Pinscher is a combination of several breeds including the Beauceron, German Pinscher, Rottweiler, and Weimaraner. The single exception is the documented crossing with the Greyhound and Manchester Terrier. It is also widely believed that the old German Shepherd was the single largest contributor to the Doberman breed. Philip Greunig's The Doberman Pinscher, 1939, describes the breed's early development by Otto Guller, who helped to establish the breed. The American Kennel Club believes the breeds utilized to develop the Doberman Pinscher may have included the old short-haired Shepherd, Rottweiler, Black and Tan Terrier and the German Pinscher. After Doberman's death in 1894, the Germans named the breed Doberman Pinscher in his honor, but a half-century later dropped the word Pinscher on the grounds that this German word for Terrier was no longer appropriate. The British did the same a few years later, now the US and Canada are the only countries who continue to use Pinscher and have dropped an N from Doberman's surname. During World War II, the United States Marine Corps adopted the Doberman Pinscher as its official war dog although the Corps did not exclusively use this breed in their role. In the United States, the American Kennel Club ranked the Doberman Pinscher as the 12th most popular dog breed in 2012 and 2013. Popularity The Doberman became very popular over a short period of time. It is a relatively new breed, less than 150 years old. According to the latest ranking in 2017 by the American Kennel Club, Dobermans are the 16th most popular dog breed. Dobermans started to become popular when they were used in World War II as guard dogs. In the 1970s, Dobermans had their fair share in movies. They starred in the 1972 American film The Doberman Gang. Dobermans also became popular after winning four Westminster Kennel Club dog shows in 1939, 1952, 1953 and 1989. The Doberman was recognized as the Doberman Pinscher by the American Kennel Club in 1908 and since then they have been one of the most popular dog breeds due to their intelligence and agility. Even today, the numbers of Doberman dog registrations are increasing. They are also featured in the music video Who Am I? in which they are one of the dog breeds Snoop Dogg and others turn into. Famous Dobermans and others turn into. Famous Dobermans and others turn into. Famous